Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more stasis. Uh, all right, we came in here with weird chirping children or something, so that's where we are now. Uh, we've got a terminal, a reception deck, a desk, which I can't really touch. Blood stains everywhere. Um, and we had like a weird kid reciting a poem or something, but we're gonna take a look at this stuff first. Um, personal data tag detected John Marichek. Personal data tag has no security clearance, system is locked, medical bay. So I need to give my, my tag security clearance. Okay, we can do that. I, I can make that happen. I'm sure there's a way I can just shove my hand in something and it'll just give it clearance. Where did I, I came from here, looked at all that, no elevator, let's go over here. It's the only other way. In we go. Oh good. No, I'm, I'm really excited about the blood-stained environmental suits. Can I like, I can click on these. Why? Serotonergic receptors are present in your principal vascular system. What? Body part. Okay, we can look in here. And I can't come in? Alright, let's look in again. I like how it makes that cool force field noise, but there's nothing we can do in here. Looks like we need to get in here in some way. There's a body actually there. What is, oh, that's cool. All right, so we need to go over there. Um, I got a body part. I don't know what that body part is gonna be for, but we got one. That's always fun. Extracted PDT. PDA, so we need the extracted PDT so we can go use it on the medical thing. I'm back. It's been cut open. Who? Of course. They must have manually removed the PDTs. That's why the security systems were reset in medical. Okay. Oh, the bodies. The bodies in the crew quarters. They were skinned. The creatures were using the PDTs <laughs> to move through secure areas. Excuse me. I must have realized what was going on. So they're smart. So Great. To the lower decks. You have to remove your tag. Great. Remove? Perhaps electric shock. No. No, we're going to have to rip it out. We're going to have to rip it out because that's what this game wants us to do. This is the only surefire way. Can't wait. What are you saying? The surgery pod should already be programmed to remove it. But it didn't work out so well for this poor woman. It's the only way, unless you space jump between decks. This is surgery. John, prep the pod. God damn it, what if I say no? Alright, let's take the extracted PDT. So it's gonna give us that. Alright, we can actually take a look at the PDA. Few notes in here. Azea Al Raj Kupar. I apologize if I butchered that. It's very possible I did. All right, January eighth, a new year for the chief surgeon. A new year for the chief surgeon, and a new year for the staff of the medical deck. I have to think of it in. Uh, oop. I have to think of it that way, or it gets rather confusing. The staff of the medical deck now consists of three extra sections: cybernetics, tissue regeneration, and for some reason, medicinal hydroponics. We like weed on this ship. Yes, it may be medicinal, but I, as I told Dr. Milan, they are still plants. I don't wish to seem ungrateful. It is Kane Corporation who opened so many new doors for me, and who redefined the frontiers of medicine for us all. As a man who served his apprenticeship on the battlefield, elbow deep in the blood of innocence, to see those, those deserts, uh, deserts, 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 in war-torn villages reborn as images of Nirvana is a privilege, and all thanks to the sciences of Kane. And yet, it's hard to understand why on the Groom Lake so many departments are being forced to share resources like this. I hear our budget will be up for review soon and the chances of us getting an increase are slim. I shall try to remain positive. February 18th, my goodness, a 300% budget increase. I've not yet been able to even imagine how helpful this financial windfall will be. Dr. Milan assured me that a sizable portion of this budget will be applied to Project Seed. It makes our work that much more essential. We'll order new equipment and new samples, although I don't totally agree with the ethics of doc Dr. Milan's acquisition of volunteers for surgery and testing. The leaps and bounds we've made in our research make more, more than make up for the rest of it. Is it wrong that we must test the limits of morality to do to, for the greater good? So yeah, these people that they're testing on are clearly not just prisoners. May 4th. I'm a surgeon who has seen many awful things in the blood-soaked abattoirs of Pangea Wars, so perhaps this should be second nature to me, but I don't recall agreeing to the use of children for testing. I went to inspect the stasis tubes at the request of my chief nurse and found that there were several children, some as young as nine years old, awaiting processing. Children! 
I was shocked and appalled and demanded an explanation from Dr. Milan. Edward Jenner had to test vaccines on children to see if they'd work, he said. I knew the story. What medical does not? Jenner injected infected pu purulent ex exudates into the children's arm, which must have seemed ca callous disregard for the child's life, and yet it saved the boy. That is how he would convince me. We are at the frontier of the sciences. Chances must be taken. I do not always feel comfortable with his ethical choices, but his logic is sound. The research is too valuable for us to let a few moral qualms get in the way. December 17th. I fear that my decision to become a surgeon with Kane Corporation is not quite as simple as I thought. The first casualties of the infection spreading across the ship came to my lab, where we had to set up a quarantine operating room. I had to get hands-on with a patient for the first time in years. The, bl the flow of blood, the cutting of infected tissue using my specialized tools. God forgive me, but I enjoyed it. It's impossible to explain the adrenaline rush from playing God in such a way, of having the lives of so many on the verge of death in your hands. I felt it on the battlefields, and I feel it now. It is not the beauty of birth that moves me, it seems, but the pungent st stench of death. I thought I'd enjo I joined this cane corporation to save my soul. Instead, it is to slake the thirst of the beast in me, whose jaws slaver at the scent of blood. I am ashamed. December 20th. How could I have not seen it? Those awful life forms are disgusting themselves as us. Oh, wait. I, let me try that again. Those awful life forms are disguising themselves as us. Inside us. They wear our skins and our PDTs, which explains how the security systems cannot detect them. If I didn't already know where those creatures came from, this would perhaps be less frightening. But they've learned. The vile abominations. Abomination. What a word that is. It appears to summarize what I, we, have created in our hubris. We have created evil. God help us all. Great, great. Now this guy's totally, totally not crazy. All to all staff, dear all, for those of you who are still able to receive these messages on the internet, know that, oh yeah, we read this already. Dear all. Okay. Uh, inbox and outbox. Uh, from Dr. C. Backman. Dr. Milan I have, has recalibrated his guidelines for subjects in Project Seed, and specifically the requirements for any female subjects who have previously been pregnant. The female subject should ideally have been screened, but their precise source is not important. Since the project has a 99.89% chance of non-fatal reaction to su in subjects, members of staff will be eligible for this test. The ideal subject is as follows. Blood type, O minus, between 5 feet and 6 feet, free of any genetic defects, between 18 and 40. They have to have recently been pregnant, ideally within the past year. Good. Good. We have disagreed often, but never so more than now. I'm aware that Miss Callister doesn't work in surgery and that the chief nurse boxer has seniority in the terms of rank. However, Callister has one of the most extraordinary organizational minds I've ever worked with. The product storage areas are clean, well and well indexed. Therefore, I have to challenge your demand that I remove her from her position because of these false reports she has been sending you about anomalies in the supplies. I have no doubt that your claims of her illicitly taking samples is also an accusation. She is a fine worker and reports only what she feels is right. I'll be taking no action against her. You are in charge of the project, but you must allow me to choose my staff at my own discretion. So that was sent to Dr. De Milan. All right. Well, good. Now I know these people are crazy. What am I supposed to do with this? Oxygen storage tank. I can't do anything with this. I can do something with this. I don't know what it is, but I got something with it. Am I supposed to move her? Right, I gotta have surgery done on me here. So it's obviously gonna be like some sort of puzzle. So I have empty stasis fluid container. The hell am I supposed to do with it? Can I put it back? It doesn't work like that. How does it work? What am I? Okay, I gotta prep for storage. Wait, there was a hand there. All right. None of this is working. What about? Okay, the organic matter receptacle requires refined biological tissue. Okay. That's just crazy. Okay, what if I do... No. Crazy. No, what if I do... Am can I combine? 
That's just crazy. Oxygen cylinder. Okay, what if we do this? Didn't know. I didn't even know we had an oxygen cylinder, but we did. Did we just drop it? Okay. I can't click on it. Give me it. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, that didn't work. What about this? Can I grab this? No. 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 And then there's empty stasis fluid container. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like okay. that. Okay. Just start mashing things together, man. Just mash things together. Hmm. Maybe. No. I don't understand. Is there anything over here? Main surgery pod base. Okay, what if we... Alright, before we do surgery, let's take this. Let's go back. Let's go back to the medical center. We have a PDA thing. We have the extracted PDA. So we might be able to mess with, like, security terminals there or something. Let's go back over here. And then if we go... There we go. So it's sitting down, you know, kinda, not really. Force field sealed off. So that'll open. Uh, personal data detected Elizabeth Swanson, medical bay. Alright. So now we can go over there, right? No? Alright, I guess not. So I can't go through here now. Body part. Hmm. Well, it worked, kind of. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Let's get out of here. Maybe it opened up the other force field for us. Ah, it did. Okay, good. So we can go in here. Figuring things out, one baby step at a time. Dis, uh, wait, we got a stasis pod. Possibly in the middle of all the slaughter, there's another survivor, clearly alive. His lifetime seemed normal. How aware is of what has happened? On board the Groom Lake. Okay, first of all, let's do this discarded to stasis pod thing. Okay. Tia, a survivor. Oh, okay. Is someone alive? Not exactly. He's in stasis. It can be dangerous to wake someone from stasis without the proper procedures being followed. So who the hell woke me? Forget him, John. You need to think about the mission. Who? I can't... Can I please? Thank you. I hate that the game gets you stuck like that. Empty stasis pod. Okay. Empty stasis pod. It's like dual duplicates or something. Uh, broken control terminal. There's a chip right there. Why is it making weird noises? What about you? Can I look at you? No? I mean, I can stare at you creepily. Torn apart door. Clearly that's where we want to go. Wait, I can touch this? Not really. So I can touch all that, but just kind of like looking at it. Let's go into the torn apart door. I'm sure nothing bad's in here. Oh, hey. Hey, your legs. Wait, 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 wait. Stasis pod chip. What is that going to do for me? We'll find out. Human torso. What's up, buddy? Another body. Or two. Looks like one. That was split in half. Okay, give him the sign of the cross. No problem. Pass him on nicely. Find out. No. No, it's one. Burke Carter. All right. February 20th. Be still my beating heart. I saw the most divine creature in hydroponics. She's friends with that nurse, Erica. Erica gives me the evil eye, but Sadie... 
Sadie's just a divine thing. Curves in all the right places in the face of an angel. I keep trying to come up with reasons to physical medical hydroponics section. She never sees me, though. I'm not trained medical staff. Those soldiers in the recovery rooms give me funny looks as if I'm the window trying to get her attention. I have to find a way to speak to Sadie directly. I've seen her head to the decontamination room, but she seems to go there every, after every shift. I might try and strike up a conversation on uh, by one of the mm, by one of the machines. Maybe offer to buy her a drink. I'll do it tomorrow, or maybe the day after, because tomorrow I've got a double shift. Still, it takes a brave man to work in unknown sciences in the bosom of the cosmos, doesn't it? Like the jocks back at school would ever be able to do what I friggin' do. I risk life and limb to repair essential uh, electronics, and that takes courage. I may not be a soldier, but I think I have the right call uh, the right to call myself a man of courage. May twentieth. What's with the shutdown? Jesus, nine days now. We've been trying to get through the medica, the surgery pods for a week. I gave up going to hydroponics to see Sadie after they started restricting access to unnecessary personnel, so now I just hang around product storage by the vending machines hoping to see her. But when I do, I just choke up. Damn, I'm so pathetic. I'm reading this book by Arian Sanchez. It's about the eugenics war. It's a friggin' amazing that we're even allowed to do what we do on the Groom Lake what with what happened all those years ago. I have to find the book, though. Dr. Milan's- oh, wait. I have to hide the book, though. Dr. Milan saw me reading it in the rec room, and he went totally apeshit. Threatened to burn the book and fire my ass. So now it stays under my pillow, and I sure as hell don't take it on my rounds. Instead, I bring one of the Pangean series by Dr. W- or by W.C. Dark with me. Is that his real name? Doubt it. I love Major Plot- Plot Hole? I love Major Plot Hole? He's incredible. Sometimes wish he'd had balls to be in the Marines after the engineering. I'd love to be like him. November 23rd. Rations arriving today. Nobody's impressed. It's all emergency shit, so hardly gourmet, but man, I wasn't expecting much, but this is seriously bad. Because food's short, people are going bug fuck. That is a fantastic term. Bug fuck. I'm gonna steal that. Lotus punched Malone, broke the poor bastard's nose. Steve's having trouble keeping everyone's fists off each other. I keep asking why we can't just raid hydroponics, but they keep shouting at me. Especially Sadie. She looks so pissed when she sees me. But nowhere near as pissed as when she looks at Dr. Milan and Dr. Al Alraj Kupar. Alraj Kupar. Alraj Cooper? She must despise me. Why didn't I just ask her out before? Because you're a coward, Burke. A, st a dirty, stinking coward. December 18th. The power went out again. I'm so freaking scared I can barely breathe. Those rumors of animals prowling around medical? Not rumors. I saw one guy ripped apart by one of those things. Couldn't make it out too well. Pale skin, tails, I think. Really? As I'm... As I'm reading? They move around like a pack of dogs and they're strong. People are scared and hungry. I kept a small stash of food in my quarters. I didn't even tell Steve about it. I feel ashamed for keeping it to myself, but people are getting crazy, man. I think it might be actually against regula uh, regulation to hoard food. Miglietta would kill me if she had any, uh, knew I had rations. Come on, the guy's nuts! He's practically strangled me the other day. Carswell had to restrain him. Body still freaking kills from the operation earlier. Steve was nominated to, re to reprogram the security turrets, and the guy just went and did it. He's a hero, not like me. That's the guy who we found underground dead. December 24th. Now I'm just not a uh, now I'm not just a coward. I'm a friggin' murderer. I use those poor bastards in stasis to keep those god awful things from getting to me. I just unlocked the stasis unit to begin uh, the recovery process, so that when they staggered out of the deep freeze, those things were waiting for them. I found a product storage room that nobody was using and locked myself in. Oh shit. That's where he, that's why he's torn apart. When the breach was reported, I heard the screams. I pissed myself. I fucking pissed myself. Is that any way a real man to behave would behave? As I ran, I saw Sadie cradling her best friend's bloodied body in the corridor. The worst friggin' part isn't that it never occurred to me to stop. I just hoped they'd buy me the time I needed to find a hiding place. That's who Burke Carter was. Whoever finds this, and I know somebody will. He was a coward. I just hope that computer parts in this PDA come in handy to whoever finds this. If my hide was the use this useless in life. The least I hope I, is that something left behind me was useful. Notice and reports, personal tags, blah blah. Yes, he was a personal douche. He was a cowardly douchebag. But we got something in here. All right. Can we free him now? So we have this stasis pod chip. Oh shit! What is this? We just like. I don't know what we're doing. Oh, can we just like check it?
I have no idea what we're doing. Oh my good lord, what the fuck? Okay. Puzzle time. So that's what these are all for. So head, we need that with four. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Head, we need... Ooh, it might actually be proper already. Let's double check. Might be that. Let's double check, make sure we got it. It's that. Okay, so we're good. I hate this thing. So next, we can look over here. I guess that's the body? Three and the weird double O thing. Okay. The body is this. Well, we got to go down to three. That? Let's double check. We're waking this guy up one way or another. That is the body, but that's not what we have there. I can't see, I hope. That? Maybe that. Can we try? Okay. Empty stasis pod. No, no, where are you going, dude? That's fine. Um, one and this for what, though? The groin? HC... Okay, I have a terrible... Like, I don't have a photographic goddamn memory, man. The groin... Uh... Why can't I click on this? Why does this bring me all the way over here? That is weird. That's the groin. Okay, if that's the groin, can we see where the line goes? Is there more? Is there like clues elsewhere? I guess we can go look around and see if there are clues elsewhere. I feel like can't do that. No. All right. This might, depending on how mu how long this takes me, this might call call for some some editing. Hmm. N O. NCHC2. CH2. NCHCH2. NCHCH2. Four. Got it. I think red means like it's wrong. got that one right. Exit out of this. H3C, H3C, N, O. H3C, N, O. I have no idea. Uh, all right, let's see. Definitely looked up a guide for this because I couldn't figure it out. It looks like I have... I, just, I don't understand where I'm supposed to find this. I walked around and I couldn't find anything. That's that's correct. I have that right. This one needed to be fixed. 
I have this one correct. This one correct. This one not correct. This one is not. That one is. No? Oh! Oh! That that one I was. Ah, oh, motherfucker! I was so close to getting it right. All right, what's up, dude? I just give him the gesture of hands. Save yourself. Okay. What? What? Relax. He's dead. Yeah, good. I woke him up. I want the survivor. He, he didn't make it. I think I killed him. I think I did something. I told you to leave him. He was dead the minute they froze him. You just made his death easier, simpler. <sighs> I just killed a man, Tia. You need to move before you become another dead body. I have some mercy. Mercy? You have no idea how much mercy I have. Great. I've been in hell. Made, made choices that got people killed. This isn't just about you anymore. I'm sorry. I need you, John. Hang tight, girl. Can I get anything? I'm so sorry. I'm so... So sorry. I don't care if he's dead, man. Can you harvest him? These don't go well together. Ah, they go pretty well together. These don't go well together. Can I do anything over here? I feel like I'm supposed to do something with him. That's just crazy. Although... No, not gonna work. All right. All right. I'm out of time for this one. We'll pick back up after this next time. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying Stasis, and I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.